So I've had a lot going on in life. Um, right now, things are good. Um, let's see, I did the Get In Shiny program that I created last, um, I think it was June through July. I did six weeks of um, eating cleaner and getting rid of caffeine and sugar in my diet, and I really started to feel good, and then um, 4th of July came, and a lot of traveling and parties between for that week between my family and my boyfriend's family, and just kind of got off track. Um, school started for me. I went back to school full-time in um, September, and then right after that started, my boyfriend broke up with me. Um, we've worked really hard at staying best friends, and going through this breakup in love, um, in kindness and respect, and, it, and there has been a lot of that, and it, there's been a lot of challenge too. It's been really hard. Um, one of the reasons that we are apart is because an ex of his um, wants him back, and she is in South America. So he arrived in South America today to see her and to discover what, if anything, there is between them. Um, and what he wants to do and what he wants to pursue. So, you know, it kind of feels like a movie, <laughs> a movie plot. I mean, uh, yeah, I would have never imagined, you know, maybe it's a romantic comedy and <laughs> we'll see how it turns out. But um, it's been very tough because I see my future with him. And um, at least for now, that's not where he is. Um, so I'm in a process of letting go and moving on. And it's been challenging. There's been a lot of grieving and also gratitude for him and for what he's brought to my life. So a lot of mixed feelings and, you know, there's no guidebook that I know of for, you know, what to do when your boyfriend leaves to go to another country and see about an ex-girlfriend. Um, I guess if there's a guidebook, it wouldn't matter anyways, because everything's, uh, every relationship is unique and, and every individual has to go through their own experience. So I have done my best at seeing what the lessons are for me in this process. What is it showing me? What can I change about myself um, to become better, to grow from this, to release any old beliefs, negative beliefs and fears that are playing out um, so I have learned a lot. I have some really incredible mentors in my life that have helped me and held my hand through this and shown me the gold in the situation and, and uh, just held me when I needed it. Um, and I have a beautiful friend in him, even if we part ways and don't, um, you know, aren't in each other's daily lives anymore. We've really created something special in us and the communication we've developed has been pretty amazing. So I, I've learned a lot but it's been challenging to say the least. Um, so through that, I would say my health did not, was not top priority. Um, I was in just trying to get by between the feelings of the breakup and um, being a full-time college student at 39 years old. <laughs> so I have one more semester. I start on Monday. I decided this is a time to renew. So I've started this um, Reclaim Your Diet program at at Breathe and doing some yoga and um, going to these workshops which of um, this great program they're providing which is reminding me to eat in ways that um, make my body feel good that eat things that are healthy for me wholesome that give my body the nutrition and energy it needs to go through the day um, so I'm really excited because I've I, I know how good this can feel and um, so I started a cleanse today. I thought this was great. I have a few days before school starts, um, right at the time that I'm kind of separating from him. This is a really good time for me to kind of just refresh and renew. Um, so today is the first day of the juice cleanse. That'll be three days. I'm going to yoga tonight, and I'm just doing what I can to um, allow my physical self to be its best so that I can carry on with the spiritual calling I have in life. I know that I have work to do. I know that um, I'm here to carry uh, messages of spiritual healing and teaching to, to people who need it and to be of hope and inspiration um, through my story. Uh, 
being a recovering alcoholic and um, having gone through gastric bypass surgery, having been morbidly obese most of my life, and now maintaining a weight of, you know, um, I think it's at this point about 133 pounds less than my highest weight. So um, I can show people that it can be done and, and give them support for the spiritual and emotional work that comes along with any major change like that and healing. Um, so in order for me to do that, to go on with what I know God means for me to be doing, I need to be my best self. So this is really exciting. I feel like it's all falling into place and I'm very grateful and excited for what's to come and how good I can feel. I can't wait to find out how good can I feel. And, um, so I hope to do more, some more video blogs and keep people updated and interested. And in this next semester, I'm going to start writing my memoir. So I want to, um, keep people updated on how that's going, which is, is going to be really exciting. So thanks for your support and I love you. See you soon.